Let's zoom into the atomic scale and see how this cell operates. Here, at the anode, the site of oxidation, zinc atoms in the metal bar are in contact with the surrounding electrolyte solution. Each atom loses two electrons and becomes a zinc ion, which diffuses into the solution. The electrons given up enter the bar and join the flow of electrons up toward the external circuit. They travel through the wire and flow into the cathode, the site of reduction. When a copper-2 ion in the cathode solution makes contact with the copper electrode, it gains two electrons and is reduced to a copper atom, which deposits on the bar. Therefore, as the cell runs, the zinc anode becomes lighter and the copper cathode heavier. Now let's close in to see the role of the salt bridge. The non-reactive sodium and nitrate ions of the salt bridge prevent the buildup of charge that would occur as zinc ions enter the anode solution and copper two ions leave the cathode solution. Such a charge buildup would halt cell operation. In the anode compartment, nitrate ions leave the salt bridge to balance the gain of positive charge as zinc ions enter the solution. Some zinc ions also enter the salt bridge. In the cathode compartment, sodium ions leave the salt bridge and nitrate ions enter it to balance the loss of positive charge as copper-2 ions leave the solution and are reduced at the cathode.